Hi guys, today I want to share you how to add a new item or new choice into the drop down list in Canvas app. So here is the example. Uh, firstly, let me show you how, what it looks like uh, at the end. So you can see this is a drop down list. I just, uh, uh, this drop down list comes from the SharePoint list. In SharePoint list, it's, uh, it is this uh, column, it's a choice type. So, for example, if I choose the normal uh, the field, okay, it's fine. But if I, ha I have a, a custom choice, I have a new value for this drop-down list, I will choose other. The, uh, the uh, input text field will be shown. And I just input the, uh, my values, uh, like the test. Let's save it. Okay, let's look at uh, refresh. Okay, so you can see uh, this column, the value has been set to the test. So it's a custom uh, choice. So if we create a new one, you can see in the learning subcategory, so the new custom choice has been here, right? Okay, so next, let me show you how to do that, how to read out this uh, customization. Okay, maybe we can re redo this on another screen, like this live screen. Okay, so firstly, we need to add a new text input field into this text, uh, into this dead card. So firstly, let's choose this dead card. Then click here, drag and drop into, just remember, drop into this dead card. Okay, unlock and add. Okay, so next we need to set up uh, the weights uh, the the two field widths to make sure they can be shown in the uh, limited space. Firstly, I want to set up the widths. Uh, uh, I just reduce the widths to the uh, original width uh, sixty percent. Then, I, I, then I will leave the forty percent width to this new field. So okay. So here, to the uh, drop down list, uh, we go to the widths. We just uh, maybe we can we can just uh, copy this, then just add a bracket, press this, and uh, then times sixty percent. Okay, then we just set it to the width. Then we can set to forty uh, percent. Okay, then we just set the X and Y axial value. Okay, uh, I think the X should be this X, uh, this is X, right? The X plus the width plus uh, an offset. So let's see, uh, let's rename this uh, drop down list uh, like the drop down, like live. So, cat. Okay, this field let, let, like the txt uh, other life so cat. Okay, it's fine. Then we just set up its x and y value. X should be drop down life cap dot x plus its width width then plus an offset like the 10 okay 10 is fine then we set up its y y value y should be same you can see um, uh, it should be same should be drop down list the y. Okay, maybe we can set up the height. It looks like the same, but just make sure we just set the height. Height should be the same with drop down the height. Okay, at the end we need to set the visible. 
it's visible. Okay, so I just want it to be shown only when I choose other uh, value. So if I choose the, uh, the 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 other the normal values, it will be be hide, right? Okay, so let's see the visible is not true. We just delete delete it. Uh, if if this drop down list selected value equals other then we will set it to true right? or, or else false let's leave, give it a try for example if i choose exercise okay not showing other okay it will show here nice okay let's set up the uh the, the default value i don't need the default value but i need a hint text just for hint for example uh, input your other value okay you can set up the size to 16 15 okay nice so the next is the most important part so we need to update or we need to set up the update property of this data card so firstly choose this data card no to this data card then go to the per update so here you can see by default this data card will be updated based on this drop down, drop down list field selected value right so we just cut it then so i think uh if we add this field so we will update this, uh, this dead card uh if if i choose other so we will update this dead card based on this field's value right or else we will use the selected value so here update we need add the condition if uh, drop down list selected value equals other then we will use this uh, text input uh, field value it's a txt other life subcat text text no okay here so it's you know it's a drop down list right so it should be an object so we just use the uh, uh, a curly uh, bracket just see value you can just follow my step then okay this is uh, we just choose this value uh or else we just use the original the default the, that means the, the, the selected drop on this value but, okay done let's give it a try for example if i choose the uh the normal okay it's not showing to other input my value like the test uh, life sub cat save okay let's go to this shampoo list then refresh okay you can see here so i have added a new value into this uh the, into this column this column is choice type so you can see the choice type you can see the so only these four choices but i have I successfully added a new uh item or new choice we can give it a try, click new and go to live sub uh, live sub category. You can see the new item, a new choice has been added into this list. So that's it. Uh, hopefully uh, this demo would be helpful for you to understand the, the drop down list uh, in the Canvas app. Thank you.